Hi. So this video is for a couple of friends of mine who have asked me to make them a showreel. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And so uh, the first thing to do was to go to blackmagicdesign.com slash product slash DaVinci Resolve and download DaVinci Resolve, the free version, um, because it can do 99% of everything you need it to do. And then the, the full on version, which has got some more bells and whistles and AI tools for fusion and stuff like that is crazily $295 forever. No subscriptions, none of that. So that's crazy. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to assume that you've downloaded DaVinci and you've installed it and you've got it running and now you're like, oh, well, where to begin? And so that's what this video is for. So I'm just going to lower, lower that window and get rid of that one. Whoa, hello. Um, so the first thing to do is organize all your clips. So I'm assuming that you're a visual effects artist and you've got a bunch of films that you've worked on and you want to put all those clips together and then make a little reel with a bit of music and um, maybe a, a bit of text at the end with your email address or something like that. So first thing to do is find a location on wherever it is that you like to keep stuff, but like just remember where that is. So you make a directory, put your clips in it, and I've also put the audio clip in here too. So... Now we're going to just fire up uh, DaVinci Resolve, wherever my button is. Here we go. So when you start DaVinci, you basically get this that just says Untitled Project, and then that's where I'm keeping my other stuff that I don't want you to see. Secrets. Okay, so you'll see this one. It's red, Untitled Project. Basically just double click on that or click on Open down here. So that fires up DaVinci, and then you're like overwhelmed by this interface. Because where it starts, you're like, ah! There's too many things. So I want to teach you, not teach you. I want to show you like a really simple way of just making a reel. So I'm not going to do it in all the professional, like you should make bins and clips and all this sort of stuff. I'm just going to do it badly. But it's like when someone teaches you how to do a bar chord on a guitar, then you kind of keeps your enthusiasm going rather than having to learn like Spanish guitar kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, so down the bottom here, you've got these kind of windows. So you've got the, the, it opens up on like the kind of weird edit thing that I don't really use. So you've got these different tabs at the bottom, but I'm not going to show you any of them. I'm just going to show you the edit tab. So when it comes up, it's blank. Go to the edit tab. OK, now this is more like a regular NLE, as they call them. So down here is your timeline. And this is where you put all your clips along here. And this is your video track. And then under here is your audio tracks. And then this is the important one. It's called Media Pool. At the top here, these windows aren't open by default. This one is. And you've got an effects tab and you've got a sound library thing. And there's so many different things. So I'm just going to come in as default. I've got no clips here. And you've got two choices. You can just right mouse button on here. So I right mouse click and then import media. And then you go to where you've got your files and you select them all and import them. So I'm going to do that. Just grab them all and then say open. And it puts all these clips. It's just by default, I think it's like this. So it lists them all like that. So you don't see the images. So by default, looks like this. And you're like, OK, where's my clips? How do they? How do I look at them? And you press this button here. And you can kind of see the, um, what's the word, uh, the, the little thumbnails for them. And you can, I, I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is like hovering over the thumbnail. And it will kind of give me a little preview of the clip in this main window here. So um, what we can do, I'm just going to zoom out. Now you change the zoom on them here so you can kind of zoom out and see all your, your clips together. The other way of bringing in, in a clip is to just grab it from your desktop. So you can go to your desktop and you can grab your clip and you can just drag it into there and it will just copy it in. But since I've already got one, I don't want to double them up. But that, that's another another way of getting your, your clips together. So there's all your clips. There's your timeline. And so you want to put these clips on your timeline and you just drag one and, and drop it onto the timeline like that. And so there's your clip. There's that's your playhead. And then you scrub along like this and it plays your clip. And you, you press play here and it plays your clip. And then I think also, I think you just press the space bar. But I'm going to try and avoid using hotkeys right now because it's it's too easy. When you're kind of more familiar with it, you're like, oh, hockey, hockey, hockey. And then it's hard to kind of show people like, what did you do? What did you do? And I was like, I pressed F something or other. But anyway, so I'm going to assume as well, like with your clips, that if there's a, these clips are just from my the animatic from my film. And so I just pulled them together because I didn't want to use any kind of copyrighted type stuff. 
Um, so uh, normally when you get a, a shot, uh, your shot from your um, the, wherever you work, there's normally a, a little bit of leader on the head of it, and it'll sort of say the shot name and things like that. So you probably want to trim those off. So what I'm going to do here is just go to the, my desired frame, and I'm going to see the if the end of this clip here, the the little icon thing change to a uh, that kind of weird shape thing. I don't know, there's probably a name for it. Um, and you can click here and then just drag it like that. So now that clip is only going to play from those frames. And here it will just be blank like that. So you just grab the end of that and then just move it like that. So there's one way of doing it. And then I've go to the end of it. I can go like that. And I can go, oh, that's a bit... I'm going to pull that shorter like that. There we go. So that, that'll... That'll be it for now. And we'll go back and we'll change all of this. So this is just me finding some selects. And then this space here, you can just pull pull your clip across like that. And I'm not dealing with any audio at the moment because that'll kind of... Uh, normally, like if you bring in video with that's got embedded audio, you'll have a, all your audio clips underneath. And then it gets a little bit messier because things start drifting unless you're doing links and stuff. So I don't want to overcomplicate it. All right, so there's my first shot. Pardon me. And then we'll just grab another shot. Let's go and grab that shot, and then I can do multiple shots as well. So I can grab like a bunch of them and just drag them into the timeline, and then it will just stack them one after the other after the other. So I can just go through this. Da, 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 that's my clips, and then this one here. There's a with that space. If you want to delete that space, if you hold it and then you hit delete, and then it moves everything in your timeline. Oops, everything in your timeline across. Um, but I hate that one because often your audio won't go with it. So this is for later, but for now, uh, what you can do is hit the delete and it'll join the, that space up. The other thing I like to do is I'm using uh, Alt Y and that selects that clip and everything to the right of it. And then if they're red, they're all selected at the same time. So you can select, I'm just gonna zoom out here. So I'm gonna zoom out on this, see this button up here that lets you zoom in and out of your clip. So you can grab all your pieces, you can do multiple selects, you can multi-select and grab them together or you can grab them individually, or you can do a control and, and grab them like that. So to get rid of these spaces, you can do the Alt Y, which Alt Y selects, whoops, it selects all the things after your playhead. So you'd have to go to like this, Alt Y, and then you can grab them and move them together. But I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to um, delete this one here, and this space, I'm highlighting that space and it's doing a ripple delete. So there's my clips. And then I, now I want to make this one shorter. So I can do it this way, I can grab it and just kind of find where I want my start frame and then find where I want my end frame and I'm just dragging it to there. And then what I can do is select that space and then hit uh, the delete button, hit this space and then the delete button. And then I can play, the, sorry, I was using the space bar to play and then hit the space bar and it plays and then it goes to my next clip. And uh, I'm just jumping forward because it's boring. All right, so I'm just going to zoom in again because I want to trim this one. Like the first few frames are messy. So I'm going to use the plus button here. Find my frame that I want to start at. Grab the end. Pull it like that. Grab my out point, And that'll do. Pull it like that. And, oops. There we go. And then press delete. Delete. And now that clips join together and then here I've got some messy frames at the head so I'll delete those click like that and then I'll use I'll go to that one so I can either I can just drag it and move it to butt it up against it and this has got the reason you see that right here if, as I move it next to that clip it's kind of like jumping to it and it's this magnet button that does that so this is like kind of snap snapping kind of tool so if this was off you would you would just kind of like go over the other one but that one is a little trickier I, so i tend to leave that one on for most things so you can grab that i'm going to click select that one hit delete so there's some clips and the other thing you can do is i'm just going to find a clip of this one let's just move to there pull that across like that and then go to i'm going to zoom out again just gonna make that shorter, shorter, because often with show reels, people tend to, you know, they get a nice shot and then they kind of show the whole thing and it's like, you want to kind of keep them a little bit snappier and a bit more sizzly. So uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to pull these clips together and make them a bit shorter. 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to select in them all, moving them like that. There you go. So there's some clips together. Just playing those. Right, and then we're going to zoom in. And this time I'm going to use the Alt key. So if I hold down the Alt and then use the scroll wheel on the mouse, then you can see it's kind of zooming in and out, which is a nice little hotkey. Saves you doing this one. All right, I know I said I wasn't going to use hotkey, but I'm using that all the time. Middle mouse on here lets you, lets you while I zoom in, so I'm going to do Alt and zoom in. And then if I use the middle mouse, hold down the middle mouse on this window, it lets you move that window as well. So you can kind of scroll along your timeline. It's basically the same as grabbing that bar at the bottom. Okay, um, if you want to change the end of these clips, like you want to, you don't want to have to, if I say I wanted to extend this clip, if I hold down, I'm going to do it again. I'm, I'm holding down the, what are they, the, the greater than the, the those guys, you know, th those, <laughs> those arrows, keys there, you see those like that? So as I pull, you know, move those around, that's another way of trimming your stuff. But as I go over that one, you can see it's shortening the other clip. So anyway, that's one, that's one way of, oops, moving, <laughs> moving your own clip. And I'm just going to press Control Z, undo, 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 undo. And what you can do is see this one here, now I've selected both. And so this end of this clip is green and the end of that clip is green. If you just hover over the end and now it will trim the clip to that side and extend the head of the clip on the other side. So that's another way of kind of moving things around and adjusting your, your little edit. So I think, yeah, I think that should be good to kind of get you going. And then uh, say that you kind of like you spent ages and you moved all these bits. And what I often do is I'll I'll get some of my favorite clips and then I'll put them like over here and maybe another one over here. And I'll, I'll kind of like find trims. I'm using the middle mouse to drag this window. So I'll kind of like dr dr trim little bits and sort of go, oh yeah, I like, like that clip. I'll use that one later. That's a lot. Um, do what this movie said? All right, no, but go. So that's a clip there and there's a bit here say oh yeah I like that bit and I'll put them up there and I'll just kind of leave them over there and I'll, I'll kind of have my main edit in this area here and then later I'll go oh actually I like that one I'm going to pull that one over here and I pull that back there and I'm going to get rid of this clip and put that one over there so I'm just dragging these clips and so just highlighting them moving them and then they snap to the end of the other one so it's a really I mean it's a lovely way of just pulling your bits around and, and defining all your selects so that's your basic kind of moving clips, adding them together, uh, workflow, and then say we're all happy with this. Say we're all happy with this, and you want to put your music on. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Um, so I've got some music. I've got some music here. I'm turning you down. Right, here we go. What's the right. <laughs> okay, so I've got some music here, and then there's a way of kind of like finding your ins and outs in this. When you, when you click on it, if I double click on this clip, It'll kind of put it in this area here, this work area, and then you can kind of like find your clip piece and all those sort of bits. But I tend to just go to the end of my edit, drag it into the timeline, and you see it's green, can, and then you can see the little waveform. And then I'll find that the selection of music that, that I wanted to use. So I, I will kind of just say, uh, grab this bit over here. What have we got here? Let's grab this bit, like show really. So I'm just. I'm pressing the space button, turn it up. So there's, so there's my music. So I want to use that. And that's like, oh, it's kind of a good, good place to start. Then I'm going to just drag it. So I'm moving with the middle mouse, dragging it, or I could zoom out like this, and then plonk it. Oops, plonk it there, and then change the end point. Oops, turn you down a bit. It's going to be too loud. Okay, so. Press play, now you've got your music, you've got your clips. There we go. Okay, so now the the employer or <laughs> your friends have seen this and they're like, now where do we, how do we contact you? So we'll put a little um, text button on the end. And so I'm going to go into this button up here, this tab and it's called the effects tab. And I press that one. And then down there, we can just grab a basic text button.
button. So uh, you've got a toolbox with lots of different things. And if you just go to titles, and then you go text or text plus. So you can grab that. So you grab it, and then you just drag it into your timeline. And, and, there, and then, oh, I think I've got a little space there. Have I got a space? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's trying to snap to my um, playhead. So I just want to put that one right there. Oh, no, it was trying to snap to the end of this audio. The audio is a tiny little bit longer. It's going to extend that. And then, and I'm skipping back to the audio. But you see these little white bits on the top? If you hover on the clip and you see that, that's a basically a fade. So you can fade, you can drag that like that and it fades out the clip. And if you see my mouse kind of changing here to a different, like you see that it's kind of got the up and the down on it, that's your overall volume level. So you can kind of move it like that. But I'm just gonna hit Control Z, just not gonna do that right now. So going back to the title, so there's my music, there's my picture. And then on the, the, now you've got custom title. So I select the text bo box. And then you can see over here in this inspector, uh, inspector then you can uh put in whatever you want so contact me at uh, la 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 wherever it is and then put your email address or whatever and there we are that's it okay well it's not it yet so there's your edit it's brilliant you love it and now i want to export that as a movie file so we're going to go to a different tab and it's this one it's the deliver page so these are called, sorry, these are called pages at the bottom. So this is the edit page. There's this one here is the fusion page, which I love, which is like a, a node-based compositing uh, kind of system, which is fantastic. There's your color page. And that's why, that's the kind of history of DaVinci Resolve it, is it started off as a color, uh, for color grading uh, tool. And it was like back in the 90s or whatever it was, it was like $40,000 for this software. And now it's, it, it's free, which is just, Anyway, then the next one is the Fairlight page, uh, which is like all the audio tools, and it's fantastic. But the Deliver page is the one that we want, so this little rocket. So you click on the Deliver page, and then it goes to the Delivery. And so at the top here, you've got all... We, we won't see that one, that's your custom ones, but you'll basically have different kind of exports up here. And so you kind of choose whatever you want. And this one I'm just going to do uh, uh, H624 Master, so click on that. And then it will change all the, the settings here to your uh, whichever one it is. And you can edit these and change these. But I'm just going to click H624 Master. You give it a file name. So you're going to say My Reel. And you have to call it that, they do. My Reel. And then you pick a location and you click your Browse button. And then you put it wherever you want. And I'm going to put it here. All right. So where's the, where, where did I put it? That's what I'm working on now. Clips Reel. So I'm going to call it my reel, I'm putting it in here, and then you just hit save. So we're telling it where to put it. You've got all these different things. That's a technical term for the the video stuff. All right. And then you hit add to render queue. That's the important one. So I'm going to point down there like that. Add to the render queue. Actually, I'm going to do that one just in case my head's on the other side of the frame. All right. So add to the render queue. Click that. And then it'll add it up here. Okay. And then after that, you hit render all. So, and then it goes. Chuk, 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 chuk. Look at that. Isn't that great? Now, if you go to where this is, here, and there is your reel. Double click on that. And there it is. It's all done for you. Amazing. Look at that. So now you can send that off and hopefully get um, lots of attention and that you deserve. All right. Okay. Well, um, hopefully that was useful. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, please. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently because I launched last week. And uh, so this is all a bit, a bit new to me. And so I really appreciate all of the kind words and the comments. And it's awesome. So, yeah. All right. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.